Sometimes we play to our strengths and sometimes we try and look to play a way that we feel that we can win the game, such as teams like Arsenal and Chelsea. We didn't really play how we would play normally, but it, we kind of got results at the end of it. So I think sometimes we play the way that I would like to play and other times we don't, but it just depends on what the manager thinks best for the team. Really. My football and idol. Um, Probably would say I grew up watching Thierry Henry for Arsenal, um, so I always used to watch him scoring goals, playing football, and I always used to think, oh, I wish I could do that. So yeah, probably Thierry Henry. I started playing football when I was really young, so I used to go up to the park with my brother, go play football with the boys, and probably when I was five, six, and then I joined Reading when I was eight. So I've been with Reading all the way through all the centre of excellence, and then I've started for the women's when I was 16, so straight, thrown straight into the deep end. I used to do judo when I was very young, uh, I was quite good at it, um, but then I just had to make the decision on what do I want to do more and obviously the answer was football, so yeah, I used to do judo, don't think I could really do it now, I'm quite small, so... <laughs> Probably one of the main goals is as a team is to get promoted, I think. When we sat down at the beginning of the year, we kind of said, right, this is where we want to be, this is what we want to do. Uh, so as a team, to gain promotion, but as an individual, it probably be to just sustain my, myself in the England squad and hopefully come out at the end of the season as top goal scorer. I think obviously when you're growing up you want to be playing at the best league possible so obviously I've thought about it um, but at the moment I'm just enjoying my football, I'm loving being around the girls and the club and if that time comes whether that's with Reading or not then that time comes but obviously as you're, as you're young and you're growing up you want to play at the highest level so of course I want to play in the best league. Very hopeful, um, I think if you're weren't hopeful then there's no point in even trying to get there um, but obviously being in around the seniors now so this is my second call up like, I'm really excited and obviously with the second call up it kind of makes me want to motivate myself more to be on that plane to Canada and hopefully I can do that. I think with the squad we have I think we've got loads of potential I think we've obviously the friendly against Sweden next week I think it's going to be a massive game and that's just going to kind of show where we are at and um, Obviously they didn't do very well in the Euros, so hopefully we can kind of show ourselves a bit more and show how good we are and the players that we put in the squad to actually progress far in Canada and hopefully maybe go all the way. I think it's great, not just for the women, but I think it's the club as well because they kind of show how much they're supporting the women's team, which they are, they're absolutely great towards us. Um, but obviously you get to go there, it's a lovely pitch, it's fantastic facilities and it's just, yeah, it's, we were all quite surprised that we were allowed to play here actually because obviously the pitch is, hasn't, hasn't been touched yet for the new season so we're all really excited and hoping for a good result. Cathedral Machorchi. Grated on the pasta. <laughs>